Hello Wanderers, Ryan and Kelly here aboard Viking Sky. We'd like to take you on a deck by deck tour of this beautiful ship and we're going to start where a lot of the action is, Deck 1. At the very aft of Deck 1 are the specialty restaurants. The kitchen table is a private dining space where participants interact directly with the chef as they prepare dishes with ingredients sourced from local markets. This is the only specialty dining option that requires an extra fee. On the starboard side is Manfredi's, Viking's Italian-themed specialty restaurant. The restaurant is actually named after the chairman of Silver Sea Cruises, a longtime friend of Torstein Hagen, the founder of Viking Cruises. Italian favorites are served here in both traditional style and as modern takes on classic recipes. On the port side of Deck 1 is the chef's table. The set menu rotates between various cuisines throughout the cruise. For example, we went twice during our cruise. One night was Southeast Asian, and the second was Mexican cuisine. Each course at the chef's table is expertly paired with wine. Moving forward on Deck 1 is the heart of the ship, the Viking Living Room. The Living Room Bar, located on the starboard side, serves snacks all day. Tucked around the living room are cozy spaces where you can read a book, relax with friends, or watch a musical performance. On the port side of the living room, you'll find the shore excursion desk and guest services. Tucked behind the main staircase is a lovely mosaic of lichen and colored stones, as well as the business center. Farther forward on Deck 1 is the Hair Salon. Not only can you get your hair cut or styled here, but you can also schedule a manicure or a pedicure. At the very front of the ship on Deck 1 is the Live Nordic Spa and Fitness Area. The fitness room has bikes, ellipticals, and treadmills for your cardio, as well as all sorts of resistance machines, and even free weights. The weights are labeled in kilograms, but Viking provides a conversion chart for those of us on the standard system. Next to the fitness area is everything for relaxation. You can get a massage or spend the day in the thermal suite. The locker rooms are well stocked with robes, towels, flip-flops, and slippers. They've also posted directions for Nordic bathing, a tradition of switching between hot and cold treatments. Ryan tried it with a turn in the dry sauna, followed by a cold bucket shower, then some time in the steam room, and a stop into the snow grotto. He tapped it all off with a quick rinse in the experience shower. If that's not your thing, just relax around the spa, the hot tub, or the lasso therapy pool. Heading up to deck two, we start with the restaurant. This is Viking's main dining room, which is located in the aft of the ship. The restaurant serves breakfast and dinner every day, with lunches served only on sea days. Seating and dining times are not assigned for the restaurant, Come at whatever time you'd like during their open hours. Outside on Deck 2 is the jogging track, which loops around the circumference of the ship. Back inside is the second level of the Viking living room. Like the first level, there are lots of seating options. The second level features tables with games such as chess or Scrabble, as well as digital game tables for up to four players. There's even a dedicated puzzle table. Deck 2 also features Viking Heritage, a small museum for learning about Viking history, and the Viking Cruises office where you can book your next cruise. Moving toward the front of the ship, you'll find Torshaven, 
Named after the founder of Viking Cruises, this is the ship's nightclub, which features live music and dancing in the evenings. This is also the space where Viking hosts their specialty spirits tastings. Kelly and I enjoyed an Armagnac and chocolate tasting here. On the forward port side of the ship is the shop, which sells those small essentials you may have forgotten to pack, as well as souvenirs exemplifying Norwegian culture. At the very front of the ship on deck two is the Star Theater. The theater holds lectures throughout the day and hosts the main stage entertainment in the evenings, such as magicians and singers and dancers. We found that the theater started filling up almost a half an hour before events were to start, so grab your seats early. At the back of the theater are two cinemas. The screens for the cinema spaces partition them off from the main theater when in use and retract into the ceiling when not in use. Viking even has popcorn to go with your movie. Deck 3 is the final level of the Viking living room and offers bird's eye views down into the atrium. It is also the first deck with guest staterooms. Decks 4, 5, and 6 are reserved for staterooms, with the only public area being the self-service laundrette, located at midship on each deck. We found the laundrette to be a busy area, so if you choose to do laundry during your cruise, be sure to plan your time accordingly. Deck 7 is full of great public spaces, starting with the pool area, which has a saltwater pool and a hot tub, as well as places to lounge or dine. The roof of the pool is retractable for skies warm weather sailings. Along the edges of the pool are more cozy lounge areas that allow you to look out at the passing scenery, as well as the pool bar and the pool grill, which serves lunch. Immediately adjacent to the pool is the Winter Garden. This space plays host to afternoon tea every day at 4 p.m. Get there early as it fills up quickly. Seating in the Winter Garden is varied, offering options for groups of all sizes. The details of the decorations here certainly caught our eye. Along the outer edges of both sides of the Winter Garden is the Lanai, another space for enjoying the sights from a cozy vantage point. World Cafe, Viking Sky's buffet area, wraps around the aft of Deck 7. It is open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll find a beverage station with still or sparkling water, juices, and specialty coffees. There are hand washing stations at each entrance. On each side of the cafe are cold and hot selections as well as a carving station, and Kelly's favorite, a dessert station. The starboard side has pizza, and the port side features gelato. At the back of the World Cafe is the Aquavit Terrace Bar, which features stunning views off the back of the ship. The terrace continues outside, where you'll find an infinity pool and hot tub. On our Arctic cruise, it was a thrilling spot from which to enjoy a sunset. At the front of Deck 7 is Mamsons, a food stall nestled in Explorer's Lounge, which serves pastries, light fare, and delicious waffles. Seating around Mamsons is less formal than the World Cafe, with plush chairs and a fireplace of lighted water vapor. Wrapping around the bow of Deck 7 is the Explorer's Lounge. We found this to be one of our favorite spots on the ship to relax, with its rich decorations and comfortable seating. The lounge spans two levels of the ship. You can take the stairs up to Deck 8, where the decor shifts to a nautical theme. I found this little guy to be particularly delightful. Not only is this a great space to relax with friends or a good book, it also offers panoramic views of the scenery. Outside on Deck 8 is the second level observation deck to the pool and the stairs up to Deck 9. Deck 9 is the sports deck which wraps around the bow of the ship. 
There are spaces for mini golf, bocce ball, and that old cruising classic, shuffleboard. That is all nine decks aboard Viking Sky. Thanks for taking this tour with us. If you'd like to see what a stateroom on Viking Sky looks like, just click on the card right here. Subscribe to our channel so you catch all of our videos. And as always, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching us wander. wander.